good afternoon or good morning or good evening. I know we won't have anybody on from New Zealand today because uh, I think it's 4 a.m. there. Well, first of all, Diana, thank you. Thank you for that wonderful email that you sent to Jean and I. We were really, really deeply touched. <laughs> what, a, what a meeting this morning. Hey, what a gathering. Uh, and you know what the funny thing was? When I, looked at, when I looked at the title of what that meeting was, it was, trust me more than your plans. <laughs> God really took it out of our hands this morning. And uh, I'm just checking that my sound's working okay. Um, but anyway, I just want to make a special announcement. We're not going to get it. I won't be on long, but um, I am going to go ahead Monday, Lord willing. Um, what we're going to do is just uh, do a live broadcast. Now, it's very difficult because we're, cover we're trying to cover f uh, four time zones in North America, but this is just specially for America. And we'll do it, uh, we're gonna do a different um, graphic on the front so that you know which is which. And I'll try and post it up there ahead of time so that you can click on a button and it'll link you in. Um, but I was telling you that, I was telling people this morning and some of you that are on today, uh, that, um, you know, I was talking with my son last night uh, just before we were watching a, um, a webinar on a software program that John was learning. He'd enrolled for and he said, do you want to sit and watch it with me, Dad? And so I, I sat in with him and I was telling him, I've got to do something for North America. We've got to do something for North America. Um, and I'd been editing some videos you know, from previous broadcast and thought I might just put them up recorded. And John said, well, why go through all that work? Why don't you just, it's easier just to go live. But I said, John, I've got to do all the preparation for it, you know, and he said to me, Dad, just repeat the outline of what you uh, did in the morning. And you've already done your prep for that. So <laughs> that was a word of wisdom. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to repeat everything word for word. We're just going to go as the spirit leads and probably may, it may be a completely different uh, subject to what we did in the morning in, in the UK. Uh, so we're going to go uh, live. Uh, we're going to repeat. We're going to do it twice a day, really. And... Uh, Eight, if I quote UK times, it might be easy and then you can work it out from there. But I, I think Jim told us, Jim Dougal told us that you're on, you know, in North America, your clocks go back uh, this weekend. And um, so we're back in sync with the five hours East Coast. If we, if we say East Coast five hours and then central is six, you know, all, all the stuff that we got mixed up on this morning. Uh, so I don't know what's the best time really, because, but I'm trying for 5 p.m. That way I can come on, do my live broadcast for half an hour and then go and get my supper, you know, and not disturb the evening too much, you know, with Jean and stuff. Uh, to try and get the balance is very difficult. Trying to get the balance between family, church, uh, you know, the Lord's work. Um, and the Lord wants us to do that, doesn't he? He wants us to look after our families. So uh, I thought we'll start with 5 p.m. UK time, which is uh, Eastern Standard Time. If I'm right, is 12 p.m. Uh, 12 p.m., yeah, because uh, you'll be on five hours behind us. Eastern Standard Time will be uh, noon. Uh, Central Time will be 11 o'clock. And then, you know, further back as you go further west, uh, it will be the mornings. So that's it. Um, so let's, before we do, let me just give you an announcement for Sunday because Sunday, we're going to do a live on Sunday. Um, really want to share the Vine Press story. And I'm, I'm going to bring on a few people as well. Um, you know, uh, those people that are praying behind the scenes, people that are leading the hangouts for the partners, um, 
we'll have a chance to share as well. But I just want to really just share the vision of Vine Press on uh, this coming Sunday, which will be 8 p.m. UK time. 8 p.m. and uh, what is it? Uh, what, what does that make it? 3 p.m. Am I right? 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Anyway, let's have a look and see who's on and say hello to you. It's uh, isn't it? It's unusual. It's unusual. Let's talk me at this time. But James, and I don't know whether you ever sleep. Uh, <laughs> Jim and Sue, <laughs> you're, you're with us. Uh, what? What was it? Four o'clock this morning. You joined us. Um, I don't know whether you ever sleep. Do you get a nap? <laughs> I, I give a nap now. I give a nap. I get a nap now because I I learned a secret that God loves to speak to us while we're asleep. You know, we get out. We get out of our our souls. Get out of our body. You know what I mean. And we get into this land of dreams. And God is able to speak to us in supernatural ways. So when I'm having my nap, I'm not just going to to get physically refreshed. I'm going to believe God's going to give me something in my sleep that gets me out of my mindset uh, because in dreams you can do anything can't you you can fly you can travel to other countries your spirit goes travels and the i know that the uh the jewish scribes believed that it was god's instrument to uh, communicate with us through dreams uh, so anyway james great to see you on james and and um sue Great to see you with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, Diane, as I say, Diane, thank you for that wonderful email. Oh, so touching, so touching. And it, I, I will try and reply to you by email if I can. Uh, and Jean says to me, now don't just, don't just send a one-liner, John. Don't just say, thank you, Evelyn. <laughs> so, well, sometimes, you know, you've got to get your head clear to be able to, to write what you want to say. Um, okay, uh, let's see, who else do we have? Uh, Barbie, Barbie Haynes, good afternoon, John, good afternoon, Barbie. Remind me again, Barbie, where are you from? Uh, um, I, I, I don't know, it's because I'm getting older and, you know, you, you get up the stairs and you wonder, what did I come up here for? <laughs> but, but, um, just, just let me know where you're from on, on the comments. Uh, Nigel, hello across the Atlantic. <laughs> hello, Nigel. How are you feeling? Are you? Is it one of your up days today? Do you know what I've started to do, Nigel? I, I may have said this this morning, but on, on the side of... Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, on the side of this new journal that I've got... Uh, Let's see, just bear with me while I figure out what, what I'm looking for here. Uh, I've got to come out a little bit to... Um, do you see, do you see the numbers down the side here? Uh, and it's got highlights. Uh, what's that say there? Um, low you, you number your day you know you number your day on how your day went whether you had a seven an eight a nine a ten or a five or a four it's a good way of doing it and at the end of the week you can see your patterns i just i just love doing stuff like that i, I know i know it sounds crazy to some people but it's i'm also i'm also marking how much water i drink now but you know what the problem is you end up going to the loo every two minutes you know especially when the weather's cold Mm. Cheers. Okay, forgive me. I was saying hello to a few people. Um, Luan, blessings from Nebraska. Blessings, Luan. Do you know one of the things, Luan, on, on these lives that you can't get on the recording? It's that community spirit that you can say hello to one another, and that's the, one of the reasons why we're doing it. But it would be good as well if when we do these readings and we will be using a book called um, uh, I Hear His Whisper by Brian Simmons we'll, we'll be doing the same uh, reading that we do in the morning 
uh, but we'll just see how it goes on the on the comments and you know the insights and stuff like that but what, what would be a good idea is if people would put in the comments you know what what was it in the reading that impressed you what was the first thing that that got your attention in the reading now now you can't write four pages because we can't we don't when you do in digital you have to keep it to a paragraph if you can but that also that's good discipline isn't it it's good discipline anyway Luan welcome from Nebraska uh, James I see you're talking to Nigel uh, I hope you're feeling better Nigel I know that you had a down day the other day and you know one of the problems Nigel is when you get broadcasting you know when you're going live and you're speaking and you you're trying to remember which button to press I'm just keeping an eye on my on my audio when you're trying to remember which button to press <laughs> uh, you don't always get a chance to read the comments and the comments go up as they come on and then they're out of sight so you don't always see everybody's comments so it's not that I'm ignoring you it's just I maybe didn't see it at the time but uh, I hope you you're feeling a lot better um, I'm always saying you're tuning in from Barry Diane I know I know Barry was one of the first major places that really broke our boxes <laughs> it was very painful as well in some ways but but highlights and lows uh, but I think that's the same everywhere, isn't it? Highs and lows. But I used to enjoy driving up the 400, uh, you know, and going into Toronto to get my fix of uh, car fumes. <laughs> Coming from a city, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, Christina, uh, blessings from Cape Town. Blessings to you, uh, Christina. What is it about? Well, I think you're two hours ahead of us, aren't you? Uh, and I don't know whether your clocks have gone back, whether you're in sync, uh, but I know you're ahead of us in the UK. Uh, good afternoon, that's it, isn't it? Good, good afternoon or good evening. I, I, I'm not sure what time it is, but anyway, great to have you with us, Christina, from South Africa, Cape Town. Janine, Janine Marshall, just when you come on as well, just to remind me, so I don't have to try and think, now oh, where were they from, where were they from? Just put where you're from. You know, it just helps us and other people maybe that uh, are on for the first time. I've not seen you before. Uh, Margaret, Margaret Gill. Now that, now Margaret, it must be late there. It, anyway, I can't, I can't give away the secret place, can I? But I know usually when you're on in the mornings, it's afternoon where, where you are. Um, but anyway, great that you're with us, Margaret. Great that you could join us. Uh, Christina, oh, what are you saying? I'm flying. Let me just move these comments out the way here. I will be flying to Florida, US in three weeks time so I can join the US. Are you, are you having to um, do a COVID test, Christina? I was looking at that. I was trying to go in November, but there was so much paperwork and restrictions, but which have now been lifted in, in you know, from October, from last middle of last month, but I know I think you still have to have a, a COVID test, don't you? A negative test a few days before, if I'm right. And I don't think there's any quarantine now, is there, in the US? Anyway, enjoy your flight and look forward for you joining us in in the future. Um, Linda, uh, I have been enjoying the broadcast since it is early in the morning in Indiana this will be wonderful to join with you live uh, Linda you're welcome I I you know it's difficult it's difficult to get the right timing isn't it you know no matter what time you go on I mean it's five o'clock here in the evening uh, midday well no not midday one o'clock isn't it eastern time uh, it's, it's difficult but I, I did feel in Pressed, and we've been praying about it for a few months now. Uh, Joyce uh, Stencil, who's one of the intercessors, uh, said to me, "No, John, we need to do something for America, for Canada, um, for North America." And I, you know, I didn't really want to commit to it if I couldn't. You know, if we can't sustain it, it 
Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to come on and then go off. We, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're going to commit to it, you know. Um, but I think this is I think this is going to work. I, I got peace in my spirit about it, and I think it's going to work. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's be flexible. Let's, if, you know, we'll do a, a little bit of trial and error and see what is the best time. But five o'clock, uh, PM UK for me is a lot easier uh, to go live and the more you make it easier the better it's going to be to to be able to sustain what you want to do uh, so anyway you're welcome and thanks for your comments Linda uh, Rodney <laughs> evening Rod <laughs> now Rodney's from Devon but where are you from Rodney so that people know what are these English people doing joining this North American <laughs> Oh, and you're not working, Rod. Are you finished work? Um, anyway, anyway, let's let's go on. While you're saying, James, yes, I sometimes nap, John, an hour somewhere in my day. Sometimes I do two hours. <laughs> sometimes I do two hours, Doug. But you know, uh, James, if if um, if you go over forty minutes, you feel drowsy when you wake. You know. It's better if you can stick to 40 minutes, uh, <laughs> says me, you know. Uh, oh, Barbie, sorry, Barbie. Indiana, Indiana, yes, of course. Indiana, I've, I've been to Indiana uh, a couple of times uh, when I was traveling to the States. Uh, used to drive down from Chicago, uh, and it's, it's south, isn't it? Uh, let me just, somebody's calling me on a WhatsApp. I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know who that is. Somebody's calling me on WhatsApp app. Uh, okay. Now, Rupert. Uh, Prinhan Da. Rupert, can you... I, I don't know where that is. Can, <laughs> hang on, let's see. Hang on, let's just take this call. Hello? Yes. Pastor Jean, uh, oh, Pastor Jean, I, I am in the middle of a broadcast here. Um, I'll have to call you back or talk to you a bit later if that's okay. Okay, okay I'm, I'm live. I'm live now, you know, so. Okay, God bless. God bless. Oh. <laughs> you know who... You know who that was? That was uh, Pastor Jean from Haiti. Uh, <laughs> never, I never get phone calls. I never, he's phone calling me now. Uh, it's very difficult, isn't it, when you're getting calls from people that you've not met before, uh, and especially you don't know them. It's very, very difficult uh, in the way of you don't know who's calling you. Uh, anyway, Rupert, coming back to Rupert, can you tell us, Rupert, uh da is that Welsh? I think you're from weren't you from Wales clan something or other? Uh could you could you give me that in English? <laughs> okay. On the other side of the mercy blessings. Uh Rodney. On the other side of the mercy blessings. You know what the other side of the mercy is, Rodney? That's uh, the Wirral. Uh what they call the Wirral. Anyway. Anyway, let's see who else we got. One thirty a.m. Wow, Margaret, can't you sleep? Can't you sleep? Uh, Christina, yes, COVID test, COVID test. And Lynn, Lynn from uh, South Africa, uh, London, South Africa. How far are you from uh, Christina, Lynn? Are you, is that near Cape Town? Uh, Rodney's got Dorset. Let me just put that on again, Rodney. Dorset. Uh, and we got Tara. Hello, Tara. It, oh, not Dorset. Means Dorchester, Dorset. Keep it real, John. <laughs> yeah, but you said the other side of the Mersey. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Gene uh, Marshall. Pastor Jean, yeah, I don't know whether I don't know whether he's he's watching, but anyway, he rang me 
in the middle there. Okay, let me just try and keep mid Wales. Yeah. Uh, Rupert, good afternoon, Rupert. Mid Wales. I went to a church in mid Wales, Rupert. Well, not quite mid Wales, more south. I'm trying to remember the name of the church, um, which was a few years ago. Uh, but we used to do also conferences down there with uh, Justin Abraham and uh, another guy whose name I can't recall at the moment, uh, Sloshfest, a number of years ago, must have been 10, 12 years ago. Uh, James, what can you do? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Many blessings, Margaret. So there we go. Is there any questions before I go on that? Do you want Does anybody want to say anything on the time? Uh, zone. So you're happy with that? Uh, it's going to be when when your clock's synchronised with ours next week, it's going to be midday Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I notice we haven't got Margie on. Usually Margie's on everything. She, usually Margie from Oklahoma. Uh, she's probably... <laughs> oh, she probably didn't realise because it was a last-minute post I put up there. Okay, I'm just going to give you a few minutes, but while while we're doing that, let me just put up the announcement for um, Sloshfest. Yes, Christina, Sloshfest. That that was a Sloshfest was getting what well, you know that term. I don't know. Not everybody sounds great. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Evelyn. Let me just give you this um, uh, notice then for. Um, Sunday night UK time uh, Vine Press The Vision 7th of November 8pm UK time 3pm uh, I've got that the wrong way around I mean I should be UK 8pm New York I put New York but Eastern time 3pm so so that's the times for Sunday um and uh, that's it, I think. I think we're done. Let me just go through you. Uh, Susie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Crowder was a part of that as well. Uh, that was one of the most... We had it in a university complex, I think, when John was there. And that was the first time I met John. Uh, I sat next to him. And he was in a trance. <laughs> I was looking forward to talking to him. Do you know what? We, I don't think we said two words because he, he just sat there like that, just in a trance. <laughs> and, oh, I tell you, we had such fun, such fun. And I've never seen so much water flowing. Okay, so I'm just quickly having a look at your comments uh, before we go. So then, just to refresh your memories, we're starting Monday. There'll be a morning... Uh, um, there'll be a morning live stream 8am UK time now what does that make it in the oh, it's about 3am isn't it uh, eastern time uh, that'll be on, on Monday to Friday and then I have to give you UK time that might be the best then you work it out then 5pm uh, UK time we'll be going live especially for North America so that the time zone, so that you can be part of the live stuff. Um, what is that at 5 p.m.? That will be what, midday? Uh, yeah, is that right? Am I right? Midday Eastern time, 11 o'clock uh, Central time. You know, it goes back an hour each hour. Uh, and that will be Monday to Friday. And we'll be using the same framework. Uh, I Hear His Whisper by Brian Simmons. Uh, and any comments we make, you know, on the outlines and stuff like that will all be similar, but it may, won't, it's not necessarily be word for word. Depends how the Lord leads. Anyway, I think we're done. Uh, let me just quickly have a look and see what you're saying. Um, Rodney, I love it. John, you make me feel normal. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, Rodney. Uh, I didn't know what to take the call. I don't usually take them, you know. But uh, I didn't know where to take the call or not, you know. 
Well, okay, take the call. I just felt prompted. Take the call. Uh, Denise Vance. Um, now, Denise, what, what are you saying? Uh, are we talking 5 p.m.? Uh, let's see. Five, if it's 5 p.m. UK time, are you saying it's 9? Uh, let me just bring you up again. You're eight hours, aren't you? You're eight hours uh, behind us Pacific time. So that would be 9 o'clock in the morning. I think, I think you're right on that. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. May the Lord bless you. I tell you what, should we do the read? Should we have a quick read of what we read this morning? And it's found in, um, uh, let's see. It's found in Second Peter chapter three, verses eight and nine. Trust me more than your plants and boy did we learn that this morning did we learn about that this morning in a practical way I'm just going to read it and then we'll finish okay because I promised you and I wouldn't be on too long today you know because uh, I have to get her blessing as well you know <clears throat> okay so dear friends don't let this one thing escape your notice a single day counts like a thousand years to the Lord Yahweh and a thousand years counts as one day this means that contrary to man's perspective the Lord is not late with his promise to return as some measure lateness but rather his delay simply reveals his loving patience towards you because he does not want any to perish but all to come to repentance. Now, what was funny about this reading, I don't usually get into uh, second coming and all of that stuff, you know, because there's so many variations of it. And uh, But this really struck me because I'd been studying for the, uh, I'd been studying for the second lot of letters, the Hebrew letters, and I was studying the letter Ket, the number eight. And, uh, Part of it was that they were saying that the ancient scribes believed that in the creation that each day represented a thousand years and that we are now in the last, we're in that last thousand years before the Lord comes. And I, I do think it's very important that we pray, pray for our loved ones, start with our loved ones, those that are outside the fold and ask the Lord to draw them because right here in this last verse let me just go back to it uh, I didn't want to get into this but I, I, I just simply want to uh, it says his delay simply reveals his loving patience towards you because he does not want any to perish but all to come to repentance now in, in some ways, I think in, in these last few years, there's been an emphasis on the grace message, and that's been wonderful. But it, it's almost bordered on uh, uh, universalism. In, in other words, everybody's saved. But here this verse is saying that, you know, the Lord doesn't want anybody to perish. So what he's saying is that there is a possibility that people could perish if they don't believe on him. So it's important that we get beyond just praying for our own needs and we start to pray for souls. Let's start to pray that the Lord will give us an awakening and uh, start with your family, start with those close to you and uh, let's believe that God will draw them. And unless he draws them, they can't come. So you need to start to pray that. Let's pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask, Lord, that you will give us a spirit of intercession that we'll begin to pray for the lost not to be judgmental not to look down on them but to to love them and to believe you lord to believe you for a harvest of souls in these last days i pray in jesus name amen 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 okay the lord bless you the lord keep you the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and grant you shalom, shalom. Thanks for joining me. Let me quickly just see. 
Um, let me just see if there's anybody else so I don't miss your comments. Okay, that's it. God bless everybody. God bless. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate you. What are you saying, Diane? Quickly, a double portion today. Thank you, John. Blessings. Shalom, shalom. Praying for my three grandchildren. Christina, keep praying. Keep praying. Don't go by the outward and you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised what the Lord can do. You know, Mrs. Rob never saw my salvation. Never saw my salvation. Prayed for me, laid hands on me. And as far as she knew, I, I hadn't come to the Lord. But you know what? <laughs> when I get to heaven, I'm going to see her. And, you know, what a, what a wonderful day that will be. Amen. Amen. I'm going on. I'm going. Okay. God bless. Thank you, Luann. Uh, thank you, Tara. Uh, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. i got to press this button. No, that button. That's it. God bless everybody.